What's up everybody, Fritz here. In today's video, we're gonna be doing the install of boot mode stage one and the initial review on the M235i. Let's get into the video. That's right, we're finally getting the stage one tune of boot mode three on the M235i. All that we really need for this, other than boot mode, is simply an OBD2 to ethernet adapter, as well as an ethernet to USB-C or Thunderbolt, depending on what kind of phone that you have. You can also do this on your laptop, but honestly, it's so much easier to do it on your phone through the app. And the cool thing about the boot mode app now is that it's no longer in beta, it's actually in full production mode. So you can go straight to the Play Store or the App Store and download it right from there. And then once you've downloaded it, you can actually log in either through Facebook, you can create an account, or I used Google in this case. And then once you have it in, it's gonna ask you to connect to your car, that way it can read the OBD2 adapter, get the VIN, and then you put in your activation code. Take your ethernet, plug it into the OBD2 port, and then connect the adapter so you can hook it up to your phone, and then turn your car in accessory mode, and as soon as your car turns on, the app will start communicating to the car to pull the information such as the VIN. But in order to properly connect the app to your car, you actually have to connect through the ethernet. And the ethernet settings are actually right here on boot mode. And all that you really have to do is copy these IP addresses here. And when we pull up our ethernet connection here, you can see that there's a few things that we actually need to fill in. I've pre-filled mine out, so the first one and the second one, boot mode actually gives us. This last one, the 8.8.8.8, .8 .8 .8, this is actually just a generic Google Cloud address that anybody can use. So if you want to, you can go ahead and use this, but if you have a specific one, you can input it here as well. And the last one, the default gateway, you're gonna actually notice that it's the same as our first input, the IP address. The only thing that's different is that the last number after the last dot is a one instead of that 250. And then go back into boot mode. And once you've done that, the car is properly connected to the app but you have one more step to go and that's entering in the activation key that you should have gotten in your email. And then once you've done that, you have free range over whatever it is that you wanna do. And as you can see, when you go into the menu settings, that boot mode actually gives you a whole lot of features here. If you guys want a full review and tutorial of boot mode three, especially on the Android app, just let me know in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to do that. So just for now, we're gonna go on OTS maps. And when you get in the OTS maps, make sure to read this information here at the top because it goes over what all the abbreviations mean in all the OTS maps. And then from here, all that we do is make sure that we select our proper tune. So for me, it's gonna be a stage one ACN 91 octane. Now, when it loads into my maps, you can see that I've already done a few here. Uh, just select the one that you want. And at the top right corner, you can actually do a configuration. So this is where you can adjust the burbles, how it's gonna sound when it starts up, uh, the cooling efficiency, cold start, if you still have cats. Go ahead and adjust all of that to your liking. And then as soon as you're done, go ahead and hit flash. But I wouldn't flash directly from the internet. What I would suggest you do is download and flash later. Go ahead and let it download. Connect the ethernet, make that connection, and then just download it directly from the phone to the car and let it proceed that way. But there's actually one more thing that we need to do, and that is buckle in our seatbelt because this will not work unless you're buckled in. Now go ahead, connect the phone, and hit flash, and press here to flash now. So as we're waiting for our car to get tuned, the cool thing here is that when you're doing this as a downloaded file straight from your phone, it won't take that long. It actually takes about five minutes or so. The other thing that you might wanna do during this process is hooking your car up to a trickle charger. That way the battery doesn't die and your car isn't halfway tuned in that process. But for the most part, five minutes isn't gonna kill the battery, especially if you're doing the downloaded version. If you're trying to pull it straight from the cloud and doing it on your laptop, that's where it could take 20 minutes, especially if it's the first time that you're tuning your car with boot mode three. And during that whole process, you'll probably see some check engine lights, some error codes pop up, but don't worry about it because as soon as the car is done flashing, it'll reset and the error codes will be gone. And we're done. Go ahead and disconnect the phone, turn off the car, wait for the allotted time before starting it back up. In that time, just disconnect the ethernet cable, put it off to the side. I do have a 
water temperature gauge here that I connect to my OBD2 adapter, so I'm gonna reconnect that at this time. And what do you guys say we go for a test drive? And just to make everything fair, we're gonna compare our pool right now to the pool that we had last week in regards to the air scoop and the air filter. It's gonna be the same stretch of run, so let's see how boot mode stage one goes. Sport Plus. That is one word to describe the stage one, two. The throttle feels more linear as you're going through the gears, more so than even when we did the air scoop and the air filter. I wanna say it's almost as if, like let's say you have a rusty deadbolt and you put WD-40 on it. The resistance before and after, that's how the pedal feels after the stage one tune in Sport Plus mode. You can really climb through the gears now. I had no problem getting in the 5,000 RPM range. No issue at all. If you're a hardcore driving enthusiast and, and this is your daily, I would say this might not be it for you because you're gonna have to be a whole lot easier on the throttle here on out. It's very easy to get to 80 miles an hour and you're only just getting into fourth gear. So this can get you in quite a bit of trouble if you don't pay attention. Uh, not only that, the other thing that I did notice in Sport Plus mode is that the turbo is definitely more noticeable. So there is a bit of turbo lag. Let's say I'm shifting from third to fourth. I'll get that boost because I'm shifting into uh, higher gear. But then a little bit after that, I wanna say like uh, about one and a half seconds later, you feel a little bit of a oomph in it. And you do notice that even in the pedal as well as the chassis of the car, you feel the turbo giving you that extra push from behind. So it is noticeable. If you don't like that turbo lag, then again, this might not be it for you. But I will say driving around with the OEM tune for about a year now, uh, you do really learn to appreciate what BMW has done after you tune it to stage one. Because you realize that BMW did underpower this car, the N55 motor, specifically in the M235i for a reason, and it's because they they know that this is a driving enthusiast car, and BMW isn't known to be a major like horsepower freak, uh, no pun intended. But with that said is, when you're driving this car around on the stock tune, you don't really notice that this car is a turbocharged car. It feels like it's naturally aspirated. And some of the purists, they want that feel. And if you really enjoy that feel, you might not love this tune in Sport Plus mode. However, if you buy all the off-the-shelf maps and you do what's required for a stage two tune and remove those restrictions, wink wink, maybe you won't get that turbo lag there because the bottleneck is gone. But I am very happy with this. Um, it's so easy to climb in the gears. Uh, if you want to pass somebody up, say you're getting on the freeway or if you're getting off of the freeway and you need to pass somebody up to do your lane changes, it's so easy to do it now. You don't necessarily need to drop a gear if you have a manual anymore and do it. Now for those of you who have the automatic transmission, I would say that this is even more worth it because for free of charge, boot mode 3 includes the gearbox configuration for this car. So. If you want a more aggressive gearbox or more aggressive shifting in your automatic transmission, you're gonna get that flash for the transmission included. Now what about Eco Pro and Comfort Mode? How do they feel? I will say that Eco Pro Mode feels more like an in-between of the OEM Eco Pro and the Comfort Mode before. Uh, the throttle is a whole lot better, don't get me wrong, but it's not necessarily where comfort mode was before. In regards to comfort, it's better than sport, but it's not as good as sport plus. 
Uh, so the restrictions are definitely taken off and you can feel the engine working a little bit more efficiently and the exhaust gas is being pushed out a whole lot better. That you can definitely tell. And in all of the modes, the throttle feel is always the same. It's, it feels a lot lighter. Uh, the RPMs will climb a whole lot faster and you're just gonna be happy with this. Boot mode stage one, I would recommend getting it for sure. However, I would say that there are some modifications that you should do before getting stage one. And since all of the off the shelf maps are only $50, just get the off the shelf maps. I would highly recommend that you get it from my buddies over at SV Bimmer. Their website is gonna be down in the description. And they have great customer service in that if you have any questions, if you're wondering about stage one, stage two, how to get the most optimization out of it, they'll walk you through everything before you even make the purchase. That way you can be rest assured that you're getting something that you actually want and will actually be catered to your modifications down the road. Also, that in Comfort and Eco Pro, you don't get that turbo lag that you do in Sport and Sport Plus. Um, it is more smooth and it does feel more like that OEM feel of not a turbocharged car, but an NA car. So if you want that extra boost in power, but you don't want it all the time, this is something that you could definitely do for the M235i because you could turn it on or off based off of the driving modes that you select. And so I hope that you guys enjoyed this first initial review of the stage one tune from boot mode three on the M235i. I think that whoever does this will definitely enjoy it. Now, if you have any other questions as far as like how a longer term review is coming along, or any of the installation procedures, leave those questions in the comment section as well. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.